Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Crafternoon with Cameron's Public Library. My name is Nicole. I'm one of the program coordinators. So today's little craft is super cute, and it got me thinking to do something like this because when I was driving on the highway the other day, I had to slow down for a little frog that was hopping across the road. So I was very happy to see the first frog of spring. So what you're going to need is a pencil, some googly eyes or buttons. Buttons will work if you don't have googly eyes at home. Not everybody has googly eyes. Everybody should have googly eyes, but not everybody does have googly eyes. A pair of scissors and some pipe cleaners, whatever colors you want. So the first one we're going to make is obviously a frog. So what you want to do is take your pencil and your pipe cleaner and just start wrapping it around in a coil shape until the entire thing is wrapped around your pencil. These are super sweet, quick and easy little crafts. They make really good pencil toppers. So once you've got it wrapped around, you kind of want to compress it a little bit so it's not so tall and you can slip it right off. Then with another one, I'm making just a green frog. If you have blue or purple, whatever, you want to fold it in half, pinch it in the middle, and then you want to, I would say about a fingernails length or even you could use your eraser on your ruler to measure how far you want to bend it down you bend it back down like that so that you make kind of a an M with really long legs because these little pieces right here are gonna be your frog's eyes and how that works is you push it together keeping that M shape and then you're gonna slip it inside your coil all the way through to the very top until they poke up a little bit. And then you can bend them out a little bit so that your little frog's eyes can stand off to the side. Now before we put on the googly eyes, we are going to do the legs. So to do the legs, you just bend them up, straight up in the air, and then about the height of where his top of his head is, you bend them back down. And then you can bend them up about where the bottom of his body is and bend them into a circle that's going to rest on the table. You see what I've done there? circle and then he should sit on a table or on a pencil on a pencil topper so you're gonna want um, a little bit of a red because we need to make him a tongue so I would say maybe a quarter of a red pipe cleaner I'm gonna grab another one here because I need that for our other little creature we're making just a little piece of red pipe cleaner and kind of bend it into a a squiggly shape and I would say about three loops down you can stick that in and that'll be his little tongue and then we can stick on some googly eyes or some buttons if you don't have googly eyes or even some little pieces of paper that you've colored and cut out you could glue them on and there we have a little frog can live on the end of your pencil. I have two of them. They make my heart happy. So one more, one more little creature we're going to make. We're going to make a little bird. So you're going to need one and a half pieces of whatever color you want the body of your bird to be. And it's pretty simple. It's the same beginning part. You just want to coil your full pipe cleaner around. and compress it a little bit and pop it off. Now, I'm using gold, I don't have an orange pipe cleaner, but this is gonna be for the beak and the feet. So how this works is you just bend it in half, bringing it to a point at the top, and inside the little coil, you push it up, and you wanna count down one, two coils from the top. 
poke it out there just a little bit because this is going to be the beak. I'll show you. There, it's poking out and then you can bend it down so it sticks out the way a beak should. Can you see how that looks like a little beak? And for his feet, you bend them out. Not straight up like we did for the frog. We bend them out to the sides. And then half of that length, we bend it back underneath him. And it's gonna make little feet for him to stand on. If you want to trim the ends off the back, you can, but I didn't, I just left them standing. And again, just above the beak, some little googly eyes. And there we have our little bird. Bird on one side, frog on the other. Thanks guys and happy crafting, have a great day. I just realized I forgot to add wings to my bird. So with another half a piece of the same color as your bird's body, about the middle, just stick it through all the way so that it's fairly even. And then bend it down and in, you can stuff it in again. and then bend your bird's wings down. There we go. Now we have a completed bird with wings.